What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I wanted to talk about flying in the cold. Now as you guys may know, I live in the northeast, right outside of Philly, and it does get pretty cold here. As of right now, it's around 20 degrees, and it's only going to get colder from here. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to A, keep yourself warm, and B, how to keep your batteries warm. The majority of this video is going to be talking about how to take care of your LiPo batteries, especially in the cold, but I do want to touch on how to keep yourself cold really quickly. I think that the two most important parts are the hat and the gloves. Now usually when my ears are cold, I'm pissed off, so whenever I get a nice hat to cover my ears, I'm usually happy. Now as far as gloves, I use North Face E-tip gloves. This allows me to use any part of the glove to touch a touchscreen, so I'm not going to recommend North Face. I mean, they are great, but honestly, any glove that allows you to touch a phone screen with the glove still on is going to be perfect for flying a drone. Moving on to the batteries, starting off with a little bit of background, DJI recommends that you fly within temperatures of 14 and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Now in Celsius, this is between negative 10 and 40 degrees Celsius, so these are some pretty extreme weather conditions, but again, this is what DJI recommends. Now as far as the risks are concerned of flying in the cold, there are basically only two of them. First of all, you're going to have a faster discharge, and second of all, you're going to have a faster voltage drop. Basically, overall, you're going to have a shorter flight time, and that's something that you have to be prepared for whether you have multiple batteries or you land a little bit sooner than usual. Really, if you've used any technological device in the cold, you know what I'm talking about. If you take your iPhone out, I know that my old iPhone had a pretty bad battery, and whenever it was in the cold, it would seem to die faster. So basically, all batteries will discharge faster in colder weather. So now that we've gone over the basics, let's go over the five ways that you can help combat against fast discharging. Now I'm going to list them off right here, but later in the video, I'm going to go more in depth on each point. Now, first of all, you want to never store your batteries in the cold. Second of all, you're going to want to start your motors to let your aircraft warm up. Third of all, you're going to want to keep the aircraft hovering for around 30 to 60 seconds before any further flight. Fourth, you're going to want to be gentle on the sticks. And fifth, you're going to want to keep your batteries warm in harsh temperatures. Now, starting off with that first point, that is to never store your batteries in the cold. This really goes as a rule of thumb for most technological devices. You're going to want to keep them out of the harm of the cold elements. So basically, I store my batteries in my room in a closet. I mean, it's a nice controlled temperature. Nothing is really going to happen to them in there. Basically, I would advise you not to store them in your garage or in your basement. Both of those are pretty cold places and usually will affect the discharge of the batteries. So I usually keep them in a nice controlled environment, whether it be in your room or another spot in your house that has a controlled temperature. Next up, we have starting the motors to let your aircraft warm up. Now, as you guys know, to prime the motors on most of the Phantom Series drones, all you have to do is pull the sticks down towards each other and the propellers will, will spin around while it's still on the ground. This is almost like driving a car. As many of you may know, before you drive a car in the cold weather, you want to start it up first to let it warm up. This is both for your sake so that the interior warms up and for the engine's sake so that it can begin to warm up before any heavy pressure is being put on it. Basically, during this stage, you're warming the battery up from a cold state to a more warm state. Next up, you're going to want to keep the aircraft hovering for anywhere between 30 to 60 seconds. Basically, from that position on the ground where your motors are primed and spinning, gently ease the stick up so that you're hovering anywhere between four and five feet in the air. This will allow the battery to further warm up before any strenuous flight is put on the drone. The next tip is to just be gentle on the sticks. You don't want to be too forceful, you know, flying up as fast as you can, flying forward as fast as you can. Just take it easy so that the battery doesn't discharge any faster. Any sudden movements will make the battery discharge a lot quicker. Finally, you're going to want to keep your batteries warm in harsh temperatures. Now, for those of you who may be traveling with the batteries in your backpack, maybe hiking through cold temperatures, you're going to want to make sure that they're warm so that they don't discharge quickly before you even fly. In order to keep these batteries warm, there are plenty of different ways that you can insulate them. First of all, they have insulation boxes that you can just simply drop the batteries into, but I think that what's going to be the most efficient and the best way to carry them around is by insulation wrapping. Now they sell these all over Amazon and probably in your local hardware store, and this is a little demonstration I'm doing with a paper towel. I know that it's pretty bad, but basically you're going to, you're going to want to wrap the battery up so that it's nice and insulated inside of that wrap. Wrapping, and then from there, make sure that it's taped and sealed nicely. So anyway, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys can take something away from this, especially if you're living in colder environments or do plan to take your drone to a colder environment to film. I know later in the month, I'm going away to Vermont to ski, and I'm bringing my drone with me. So I hope that using these tips, I'll be able to keep my drone batteries nice and warm. 
So again, that's about all. Definitely leave a like if you liked, and subscribe if you're new around here, as I have been trying to upload daily. If you guys missed out, yesterday I uploaded a video. I'm doing a giveaway for the DJI Phantom 4 Polar Pro ND filters, so definitely go check that out and find out how to enter. But anyway, that's about it, and I'll talk to you guys later.